Hello Bat fans and YouTubers, welcome to Enigma's Light Videos. Remember to rate, comment and subscribe if you like this video. Enjoy! Hey guys, this is Nicholas Light, and I just want to do this video um, about the Civil War. If you guys haven't know, okay, I had to read it. I'm kind of pissed right now because my thing didn't really said operation copy complete because I didn't want to record it, so I have to redo this again. Anyway, um, so basically, if you guys do not know what the Civil War is, I'm just gonna really explain it to you. This is all speculation. Before I want to um, continue with the movie, with the media talk news we're having today, but for the movie news. But um, before I start off, Civil War, this isn't speculation, this is, I'm telling you guys from the comic art of well, Civil War, you guys can actually go buy this um, at, at Amazon or something. But I have the full book from um, Saki Comic, so, but um, I guess we come. So but what, I, what happens is, I'm getting this news from AMC Movie Talk, which is a um, a fantastic news site, I'll put the link in the description below if you guys want to go subscribe to them here. AMC is like literally number one reliable resource right now for me. But um, okay, let's get on with this. So if you guys do not know, Marvel Comics Civil War. The Marvel co Marvel made a comic comic art in 2006 titled Marvel Civil War, which is a crossover between every single character in Marvel, if not if almost if not all, Mar every Mar uh, if not all characters from Marvel. So what happens is the U.S. government creates a law that requires mutants to show their identity of who they are and what they do. That includes the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, anybody you can think think of in the Civil War. But um, so here's what happened in, in Marvel's universe. It, for what they did was this is from a, a this is from MCs. Uh, I think Monday, it, what happened was a magazine resource, something like that, I don't know, but they got it, and it was a pretty reliable magazine resource, a reliable, a, uh, a pretty reliable resource, or most of those things should not like the internet, movie database, whatever you call it, but um, what happened was they reported that Robert Downey Jr. is probably going to be in Captain America 3, which is apparently aka Captain America versus, um, Iron Man. Now what they're gonna do for um, this apparently is tie it into the Civil War art comic. And what's gonna happen is um, Iron Man is going to go to the government and reveal the identity, his identity. And he's gonna go and Captain America is gonna go to um, and refuse and he's gonna go against it. I don't know, I think it was Captain America who goes with no I, I <laughs> Yeah, it's Iron Man and Captain America, I think he is Jesus. Um, fuck. Is it Captain America? I think it's Iron Man who goes with the government. I, I'm sorry, I haven't read the comic yet, but I, I heard it. I think it's Iron Man who goes with it. Goes with it. And he reveals himself, and then Captain America... <laughs> Let me check who actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm back, I'm sorry. It's Captain America who does not go with the government. I got confused, as you know. It's the US government, and you would think Captain America goes with it. But um, so what happens is Captain it's Captain America versus um, Iron Man, and there's an image that spoils basically the whole comic for me. So what happens is um, okay, if I can talk, I'm sorry, I'm just really excited. But um, so what happens is yeah, um, Captain America goes goes against government. Iron Man does. Mutants are inside like Spider Man and stuff, X Men, everybody. And they fight. It's a, basically a crossover between all Marvel people, and they just fight it off to death. I think Thor kills a person from my friend told me because I got him to buy the comic with me because I wouldn't buy it if he bought it because I'm not a huge Marvel fan. But um, so what happens is um, yeah, they fight eventually, and it's basically whose side are you on? As you can see, I had no clue whose side I would be on. But um. Yeah, it's Captain um, Captain America three. Apparently, it's gonna be banned for Superman. But uh, yeah, I mean Captain America for Superman. Captain America for Iron Man, and they're gonna go with the Civil War comic. Or they're gonna go with Civil War comic storyline arc. Now, this kind of makes sense because if you guys do not know, mutants had to kind of 
were kind of revealed in the X-Men Days of Future Past. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I think that's what it's called. And um, this guy, he, in the movie, he um, does research and he proves that mutants do exist. And when he proves that, they let him um, create these things, I forgot what they were called. And they have basically all mutant powers from the, from the blue girl. I don't know what her name is either. I think Mystique or something. And she requires, she has all mutant powers, so they put that in the robots of what they created, and it kills every single, um, it kills every single unit. And X Men, the um, at Wolverine, and a few of them are left. And X Men has to go back in the past and stop the dude with a Doctor Xavier's help and Magneto. And you know they fight it off, they change time, and it works. But if but here's what I'm thinking. Since it worked, he's gonna, the dude's probably gonna have his research somewhere, and the government's gonna find it, and they're gonna see mutants do exist. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna pass that law saying we know mutants exist. Please um, reveal your identities to to us. And when they reveal their identities, the first one is we already know Iron Man. And Captain America's gonna refuse to do that because basically, I think it's a rogue shield that ha that forces them to do it. Because even in Captain America 3, shield is taken down. Shield is went rogue. They're they're no longer good good people no more. They're they're part of a rogue society, I think. So that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. And since that and. It's just, it all makes sense for what Marvel's doing, and it's going to compete against the DC Universe. I'm not, I'm not a huge Marvel fan, but I'm more on the DC Universe, um, mostly, but... Holy shit, this sounds so exciting, guys. You have to go check it out for yourself. I seriously recommend reading this comic, and doing, watching movie news. I, the news, movie news for, with the reporting, <clears throat> just God, man. I have, uh, from the release date, there is n not a release date yet. But it's rumored Avengers 3 will will be the Civil War. <clears throat> but um, <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this is basically all I have for you guys. And yeah, if you guys have any theories, leave in the comments below. I'm. It's just so exciting that they're making this movie because they have the Batman vs Superman movie, which everyone's been wanting. But the whole Marvel universe fighting against each other, that is gonna be something. I'm telling you right now. This is a great time to be a movie fan, guys. It's truly an, an era of mil miracles for movie fans. But, um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Enigma's Light with your movie news, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mutants. Since the discovery of their existence, they have been regarded with fear, suspicion, often hatred. Are mutants dangerous? It is a fact that mutants who have come forward and revealed themselves publicly have been met with fear, hostility, even violence. That I am urging the Senate to vote against mutant registration. What is it the mutant community has to hide, I wonder, that makes them so afraid to identify themselves? The truth is, I am Iron Man. That mutants are very real. And they are among us. We must know who they are. And above all, we must know what they can do. Government introduced the registration act. On principle, I can't negotiate with these people. You realize the level of impact this will have on the mutant community? These so-called mutants are people just like us. Their affliction is nothing more than a disease. The extermination has already begun. Make no mistake, my brothers. They will draw first blood. The only question is, will you fight or wait for the inevitable genocide? Who will you stand with? The humans or us?
Now, reaction has run the gamut with mutants on both sides of the line. This is now a national security matter. And I worry about how democracy survives when one man can move cities with his mind. As do I. Now, sometimes when you cage the beast, the beast gets angry. I told you they would draw first blood. Who the hell do you think you are? You're a mutant. The whole world out there is full of people that hate and fear you, and you're wasting your time trying to protect them. There's a war coming. You sure you're on the right side? The war has begun. You and I know that it's only the universe. Our war will rage. Your cities will not be safe. Your streets will not be safe. You will not be safe. You will strike with a vengeance and a fury that this world has never witnessed. So if you're with us, then be with us. Oh, 